They've like survived. I've given some to a friend. Yeah. And then they established in her backyard. And then she brought me some. And then I restarted my colony oh, with the... Nice. They, they, like, they became wild for a while. So um, basically, this is a, a vibration machine. Did you make any of it? Or? No, no. This one I bought on eBay. Okay. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Like if you look at it in terms of how it works, it's basically just a just motor that thing, that's yeah. offset, right? And then he just spins and, and shakes things up. Exactly. Wow. So, um, I had no idea which size filters to use. So all the different millimeter lengths of them. Um, trees across the road in the park. Yeah. They're just dropping their fig trees. And they drop leaves all the time. We get like massive amounts that go up against our back fence. Yeah. So I go over it with the, uh, the lawnmower. And it chops and mulches nice. and puts it in the bag for me. Then I filter it, yeah, and then that's what I got. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, and the, the the good thing about it is like, it's going to accumulate green stuff, uh, you know, like the the poop basically, yeah. the frass, and then you can put it on the garden and start again. Yeah. Um, it's just a smart plug, and then I got a smart button, and then you press it, and then there'll be a little bit of a delay, but. Yeah. It turns on, you press it, it turns off. So what I was doing was I like have the button on my glove. Okay. And then I can just like put it on. Do your stuff. Press it. Don't have to dirty things. On the ceiling. Ooh. Right. And I ducted it and up there above there's actually a big fan. Yeah. Um Did you have it last time? Uh no, I didn't. I just had it I had a whirly bird okay. in the roof. But this is like this is a a big beefy fan like it sucks the wall in. yeah but what i was doing is i had it connected up and um when the temperature went above a certain level yeah then the sensor would trigger the fan to turn on okay and then when it went down it would trigger the fan to turn off again well, that's pretty good and what i wanted to do you see i've got this all linked up right yeah. i wanted to have it pull air from the grow room yeah through so that the moisture, moisture comes the out. issue with, with these is the moisture right yeah and then i was going to have it pull through here but yeah it's tough in the sense that the only way I can vent it out is up like that yeah. um, and in the winter time I want to have heat from here come into this yeah because this generates a lot of heat actually yeah. and I want to be able to pull it in you don't want to be pulling heat from the top and then putting it into the top yeah. you want the heat to go in the bottom in the bo now this is actually this whole thing is kind of suspended and I've just got it sitting it's it's not actually resting on these things okay the only point that it's touching is is just there so um basically these things are filled with water that was my attempt at um getting yeah. some humidity i've actually just ordered online um a little solar panel okay and a little usb powered um misting like a little fogger so then I'll have it there sitting on that nice. and kind of fogging up okay. when the lights are on. Yeah. And then when the lights are off, it won't. So it's not going to go all the time. And these lights are good enough for the that solar this, panel? This is the, you know, the the ones that they sell online, the dedicated soldier fly light? The eco yeah, eco, yeah, yeah. eco he, yeah. I'll tag them in the, the LinkedIn when I post yeah. this. So I, I got it. I actually got the, the light that they have. And it's so much less power than what I used to have. And yeah. it's so much nicer to use as well. Okay. Um, and then I just had to get this little thing to wire it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of bugs in here at the moment. Um, but what I was, <laughs> I had some ideas about, like, you know how they, in the medical uh, field, you, you can Those have gloves, the gloves in. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't quite work as the execution is a lot harder. And then I also realized that, you know, once we put it together, we realized that the zip is the wrong way. It yeah. should be down there. Okay, so yes. Because otherwise you have to lean down. But... Um, then the plan here, um, I haven't actually had any eggs laid, unfortunately. I don't know if it's like this time around. Yeah. This is a new system I'm trying, so I'm using these balls, right? Um, I bought these on eBay. These are, um, they're bio balls. You use them in like uh, grey water systems to okay. increase the surface area for bacteria and stuff. Yeah. But you can see it's like the perfect, Yeah. they would lay inside there and then you can pick these up and you can clean them or you could do whatever you want so yeah. basically i had it sitting on some mesh here and then i can just take the lid off and put stuff in because the, the big enemy when it comes to having the food out like this is um what do you call them uh fruit flies and once yeah. the fruit flies get in it's such a pain in the ass to get rid of them 
How do you That's get rid of them? Thing of wine. Oh yeah, I so do you the have same. A wine trap, and then uh, you can. So if I if I have a big problem, I'll just fill up a couple cups with the wine and have it down the bottom. Yeah. And then they'll all suicide in there. Okay. And um, but the soldier flies <laughs> should should be uh, okay. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't. I haven't had any eggs. I suspect the temperature hasn't been high enough. Yeah. Um, but that's okay because actually not a lot of them have been hatching either. Most of the ones that have been hatching actually have been hatching in here, and I just transfer them in. Okay. Just on the off chance that they'll breed. <laughs> this is. Um, I've been making this system here um, with these ramps. Yeah. So I bought a plastic welder <laughs> to weld. The, this is just a cut out of the lid upside down. So yeah. You can see that they, they kind of go up there, then they go down the ramp. Yeah, that's good. And then they come out. Um, there's a decent amount going on in there. Oh, wow. Look at all those. But this is too wet. Yeah. Right? We can filter it now. And we'll see kind of what we get up to. Yeah. It's already doing such a good job. Everything coming out there. The other thing that it does is it dries it a bit. Yeah. But you can see this is like the entry level one, right? Yeah. Because you can see it's going in a single direction and it's not even vibrating that much. Yeah. But you can actually get ones that A, vibrate a lot more, yeah. and B, switch direction halfway through, okay. or have like layers where they bounce up. Yeah. You can also get ones where they do multi different layers of filtering. There's like, there's like a weird balance that you have to strike yeah. with um, putting a lot in there to save time and then putting a small amount because you can see when it's wet it just ch tends to clump yeah it, this is made for flour actually they okay. use it for filtering different grades of flour and ground grains you sift the larva through this smaller ones also so or? the main way of getting the larva out is just the going the ramp and okay. if you take a look down the bottom here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, so basically cool. what I did with this, I got this from Bunnings, yeah? Yeah. And then you can see that I actually flipped this these shelves upside down, so now it's like a container. Yeah. And then uh, in the holes, I drew, in the corners I drilled a hole. So basically they come out and then they go around and then they go down to the next level. And then I covered these so yeah, that it's yeah, like yeah. a chute. Yeah. And the next level is the same. It's a hole, it's a hole, it's a hole all the way down. And then I have two holes here, and they're supposed to go into this. What I didn't realize though was that natively there's a tiny little hole in the corner of each. Yeah. So 90% of them are going out of there, because yeah. that's the instinct <laughs> is to go into the little yeah. space. So I need to find a way to cover up that hole so that they can only come out of these spaces. Yeah. But you can see that this, you know, this collected a lot. Wow. Uh, and that was like, that's great. Yeah. But actually, what I would really like to do is. I would like to have it such that I can add new young ones in. Yeah. Their activity will force the old ones to look for a way to get out. Yeah. They have an easy way to get out and they harvest themselves. Yeah. So like my goal would be to have a lot of really young ones get introduced, yeah. add new food, keep filtering out anything larger than a certain particle size. Yeah. Uh, and also, because uh, then the, the really small stuff has come out of the butt. These also are just from Bunnings, and so I use the lid yeah. and this, and there's no other materials required. Yeah. The at a super hot temperature, and so they give you these little welding rods that are just, uh, I think it's PP, polypropylene. Okay. Yeah. And then you can, so you, I, I would kind of get it soft, then cut it with scissors, yeah. and then use the welding rods to get the pieces to stick together. Okay. Um, that but yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. You set the temperature on the bottom. So that's been that's kind of like round one. Yeah. And then round two involves the custom one. Yep. Two millimeters or, or two point five um, would be the ideal diameter for the soldier fly because 
then the big ones can't get through, but you can get the coffee ground size, right? Yeah. Because that's the key. So this is the second layer you've you've sealed in there. So there's two layers in there, a big yeah. one and a small one. So all of this is now like high quality fertilizer that could be used for something. So I do put it on my garden, but like that's, that's some pretty nice stuff. Very fine. Wow. Very dark. Yeah, it's super rich. Round two of the same tray. I mean, the beautiful thing about dealing with an organism that goes through such crazy natural selection, you know, like how many of the how many of the small ones will grow into adults? Yeah. You know, if you just keep the system going for long enough, it's self-selecting. And then, like, do you mix this before you put it in the garden or anything? Do you mix it with anything or just check just it throw in? It loose. Yeah. But I, I don't know. But yeah, so when I look at that, right, like that's how much, you know, this plus this is how much we started with. So what's that, like a fifth maybe? Yeah. I was able to get. It's no bad. Maybe less. The hole, I think these guys are going in right now. There's just tiny little holes in the corner. I didn't realize. It's yeah. just tiny. And they always prefer to go through that than to go out of the two holes that I drilled here. Yeah. Because um, what I was think, what I was hoping would happen, is that all I have to do to harvest is just it under is actually take out of here, right? Yeah. And so they've got, I've got a bunch in here, including some. Gee, that's that's not happy. Yeah. And look, this one's it's even a tiny smaller. Hole. This one's even smaller. Wow. Looks like a slater. Yeah. <laughs> but um, there's some happy ones in there. I think the big ones but actually majority of them appear to, to come out of the sides which is annoying um, but it is the reality yeah. so if you look at how many I have wow. it's been quite like it's a good system in terms of this and like they can't get out of this thing right? yeah, yeah so this did self harvest itself quite well okay and I didn't have to shake it and yeah. I like the thing that's going well with this system is the amount of maintenance is low. Yeah, that's good. The efficiency is also very low. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If that's pretty good. I mean, like, if you're getting those many, but it's over what period of time and with what inputs. And, yeah, but I guess. In terms of labor, I, I really haven't spent that much. Look at that. And if it feels like I just want to put them in my mouth, you know, like those yeah, it feels like gummies. <laughs> Oh, this one's already getting ready to turn into a uh, fly. Um, because you showed me uh, the wine fridge last time. Yeah. I've, where I've, you kind of slow down their lives and yeah, what... You can see that I've got plenty of... Wow. Soldier flies at the moment. Yeah. Just stack it up. It's like that, that scene in Looper where he has all the gold bars. Right? <laughs> that's, that, that's new gold. Yeah. Yeah, I got... 